Hi, welcome to Creative with 5 video tutorial. The first part in a short series about the adaptive sweep in Cartier V5. So in this case I needed only one sketch and one guide to create that surface. So let's have fun with Cartier V5. In order to make it work you have to proceed in a certain order. First I want to create the guide curve. In this case it will be a 3D line. So let's go for that line, maybe point in direction, and the point should be 0, 0, 0, and the direction might be this one. And the length should be 1000. Now I need a plane which is normal to that curve in one point. So go for a plane, go to normal to curve, curve would be this one, and create a point, in this case an end point, right there, and confirm. Now I can go for my sketch, so let's go for position 1 on that plane. Orientation is OK, let's confirm. Now I want to hide those elements and I need that point projected into my sketch. So let's go for project this point and make it for construction and OK. And I will need it here visible so I can select it. Now I will need a symmetry line, so let's go for a line, make it for construction only, that's OK. And in this case it will be parallel to this one. So I will leave that V here. This might cause problems if you use a different profile and a different curve. But in this case it's OK. Now let's put that endpoint here onto that mark with a coincidence and let's add a dimension here maybe 100 doesn't really matter not 1000 but 100 okay so the profile should look something like this let's go should be a normal one should go up and I don't want to use that H here so let's delete it now let's make it symmetric So those two should be symmetric to that symmetry line. Those two should be coincident. And the angle between these should be, of course, perpendicular. And this one and that one should be also symmetric to this one and that will not yeah it works but I need those endpoints to be symmetric to that symmetry line. Now let's add fillets. So this one here should be two hundred and this should be come on thirty, and of course on the other side as well. I will need an angle of sixty degrees. And a 
mit den Menschen. Sorry. I need a dimension from this line to that point up here and this should be 400. And finally one here that might be 1000 and this line and that mark should be aligned coincident. This looks okay, so let's finish that sketch. So let's go for an adaptive sweep. And there will be some warnings. That's because of how I did that sketch. Maybe show that line. And the guiding curve would be this line. And the sketch, if I select the sketch, uh, there will be two warnings. First one, in this case, I can ignore it. And I can also ignore the second one. Now I have to add points on that guide curve. There, there will be more sections created. So let's go for parents. Right click, create a point on curve let's lock this and the distance on curve in this case it's a line should be for the first one 400 here okay then i need another one that would be at 800 and the last one at 1000 so i can go for an end point, this end point. So now I've got four sections and I can edit the parameters for those four sections. So that would be the last one. Now I want to change the angle to 85 and I can change the other parameters so let's take a look we've got that 400 that should be changed to 200 and yeah that's the length of the symmetry line that doesn't matter so this one should be, that's the radius, the upper radius, that's 120. And sorry, I didn't want to check it. 120, 30, 30, that's okay. 85 and 200, yeah, that's okay. So let's go for the next one. That would be section three. So that 200 should become 130. Let's do it like this. That angle should be 80. And that distance should be 220. Let's go for a preview. Yeah, looks good. Now go for user section 2. And this will be 160. Angle should be 65. And that distance should be 360. Go for another preview. Looks OK. So let's confirm. And I'm done. So hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like, leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook FM page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.